What's up guys, Stay Servin Jr. here, and this week I wanna progress the ring movements that we did last week, all right? So make sure you're staying tuned in, turn on those post notifications and subscribe to the channel so you know exactly what we're doing and you can stay on pace with the progressions. All right guys, today it's gonna be a little bit more challenging just to move again, progress those movements a little bit. So I'm gonna hit some megawatt, you already know, get that pre-workout in before we get going and really get started for this workout. Today, it should be a little more intense than last week, but nothing too crazy. Again, you can always modify by setting your knees on the ground and just changing up the positions a little bit, but I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, so like I said, I'm gonna progress the movements a little bit from what we did last week. Again, it's a baseline thing to establish strength for rings. And I guarantee you, if you do these, you're gonna start feeling the strength gains in other aspects. If you do weight training, strictly calisthenics, what have you, this will strengthen everything. So follow along with these. Now, if you were having a challenging time with the movements from the last video, then you can try these, but I would suggest sticking with those until you master them. Because again, we're gonna progress those movements a little bit. I'm not gonna hit all the same movements that we did last week, but I'm gonna add in some stuff that will relate to it and it'll give you something to kind of progress yourself with, right? So we're gonna start with push-ups. And so last week we did ring push-ups, right? Focusing on that ring turn at the top and bringing it to the center line. Well, similar to that, we're gonna do the same thing today, ring push-ups, but we're gonna do archer push-ups. What that means is that we're gonna go down with one arm, extend it straight, and bring it back to the midline. Why is that important? Because it strengthens each of those it each must arms muscles individually as well as together and it bring your strength back into that center line right so you want to again if it's too challenging put your knees down lift the rings up a little bit but you'll go down on one extend that arm and bring it back down on one extend that bring it back and these progressions take time why first you got to build the muscular strength secondly you got to build the tendon strength we don't talk about that very frequently, keep those rings turned out. But what happens is as you're strengthening your muscles, your tendons don't get as strong as quickly in the elbows, in the joints, in the wrists, wherever there's tendons, you also have to strengthen those too. So take your time in learning these progressions. I'm making it look simple guys, but I know that this is super challenging. So you wanna hit each one, maybe for a set of five. Boom, and then finish with that ring turn, bringing those rings in. All right, now to progress the planche leans, we're gonna do a movement that looks a little bit silly, but I guarantee you it is challenging and it is what you wanna do to start building that strength for your front delts to actually get that planche movement, right? So you're gonna get into the position again, turning the rings out, setting your feet so you're leaning forward. You start to feel that pressure in the front, so you're leaning, the planche lean itself, right? Last week we did holds on this. This week what we're gonna do is just jump off our feet, try and get support for a half second, whatever you have to offer, and back down for a set of 10. So you lean forward, turn the rings out, bring them in, kick those feet off the ground, and get back to the floor. Try and keep tight in the shoulders, keep tight in the core, jump those feet off the floor, Pause at the top as you can. Do a couple sets of those, and I guarantee you, you're gonna start feeling it. All right, so last time we did ring support holds and tried to bring everything to our center line. Today, what we're gonna do is let it out just a little bit. Not doing an iron cross, not going super crazy deep on this, but you're gonna do ring support flies. So, first and foremost, you wanna make sure that you get the support hold warmed up, because your shoulders and chest will be begging you to do so. So make sure that you can do a solid support hold for a couple seconds. Really feel that out. Drop back down. Again, making sure that your rings are ooh, as close as they can be to shoulder width apart, because that's the best way to do it. So again, for the support fly, what you're gonna do is jump into a support hold, let it out a little bit, and bring it back to the center line. This is a huge, huge exercise for chest strength. But again, building that tendon strength and the pec attachment, and making sure that your body remains strong. So. We'll start off in support, let it out a little bit, pull it back. Not even that much. If you can only go there, that's fine. 
we're gonna do about 10. Try, hold that last support for just a couple seconds. Yeah, before you come down. Again, you're gonna feel it. What I just felt during that was a pull in here. What that is, is strain, tension of the pec and short head of your biceps. So again, be mindful of your limitations at this current moment. You have to build that strength in order for your body to withstand that strain. Withstand the strain? Withstand the strain. So. Again, let it out just a little bit, bring it back in. Don't try and throw out for an iron cross. I guarantee you that won't end well for you. Backpacking off that same muscle group that we're working when we're doing support holds and ring flies, we want to introduce ring dips. I'm sure you've heard of them, you've seen them, but I really want you to focus on form on these, right? We always talk about ring turn and keeping everything pulled into the midline and it's the exact same thing for ring dips. So once you're in support or even starting down from down here, your palms can be facing your body, but once you're at the top of the dip with straight arms, locked out elbows, you want that ring turn, pulling it in towards the center of the midline, right? So something like this, okay? That's the ring dip. The actual ring dip ends with ring turn at the top. You wanna keep your core tight, keep your feet together, helps it all out. The tighter everything is towards the midline, better everything else will be, right? So let's hit a, a set of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four. You can feel at the top, the stability and the tension that it requires for everything to stay in the midline, and that's exactly what you wanna work on. Last but not least, we wanna develop and uh, progress that dynamic ring support strength hold. So last week we focused on doing support hold plus knee tucks, right? This week we're gonna do support hold plus straight leg leg lifts, right? To, to progress that L sit, okay? So we're gonna get in support, make sure everything's being pulled towards the midline, keep your legs together. I promise you guys, gymnasts, you know, like as gymnasts, we point our toes and keep our legs straight and all that, I guarantee you, the more you focus on keeping everything tight and together, the better it will go. Okay, so in support hold, everything's tight into the midline, lift the legs, bring them down. Straight legs. Progressing that dynamic strength, oh my God. Just a step five, support, establish, and then you can come down. Now, I know I was struggling with that, so I know it's challenging, I get that, okay? But if you're having too hard of a time with straight legs, again, you can go back to the tuck knee raises until you're prepared to do a straight leg, leg lift with support. All right, y'all, those are the five movements I wanted to cover with you today. Give them a shot. Again, these aren't meant to just be a one-time thing and done. This takes time, it takes progression, it takes effort, so again, if this was too advanced, go back until you master the movements of the previous video, and that will give your body a better chance to adapt, give you better strength gains, and just overall better results. I hope you guys are finding value in these ring videos. This is something that I've done for years, so when you see me do it, I know it'll make it look a little bit easier sometimes. It's still pretty challenging for me, but gives yourself time, patience, and grace to actually build that strength. I've had a few people reach out about getting some Wave merch, the links to that stuff is always in the description. Same with the pre-workout that I take, my supplements, my coaching. If you need a personalized program, guys, all of that stuff is linked in the description. I wouldn't tell you about it if I didn't think it was gonna provide you immense value. So check it out. And of course, rep the wave squad <laughs> and look dope, right? That's it for today, guys. Make sure you like this video. Send me some feedback in the comments section. Subscribe and turn on post notifications so you know when I'm coming back with a new video. Guys, as always, it has been a phenomenal workout with the rings. Phenomenal day. Thank you for spending the time here with me today. That's it. Stay Servant Jr. out. Ride the wave.